Kate Darman, uh, first of all, just any indication on what happened with the AD there, and, and how, did you get a chance to see how he's doing in the locker room? Uh, they were, you know, they're looking at him right now. I believe it was just a spasm, though. Nothing, you know, major. Okay, so that that would, of course, be you would be optimistic, or you kind of wait to see. Extremely what optimistic. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, Darvin, just the focus and mentality throughout, from your stars all the way down to the role players. Of what, how did you get to that point today, uh, and uh, what did you think overall? You know, you could just feel the vibe. You know, when we did our uh, walkthrough yesterday at the hotel, watch film. Um, you know, a lot of guys disappointed in the way uh, we kind of didn't completely drop the rope, but you know, some mistakes we made in that Memphis game, just you know, trying to make sure we're t we're as tight as possible on both sides of the ball in terms of our execution. So, you know, we wanted to come out early, set a tone defensively, um, and also set a tone offensively by not settling defensively. You know, giving multiple efforts. You know, it's a tough offensive team. You know, they, they do a lot. They, they can beat you in a variety of ways. And one point of attack for them being the three-point line. So just making sure we, we had bodies on bodies, bodies in front of bodies, stopping them from driving downhill. And then uh, offensively, you know, trying to play the game inside out, loving and living in the paint, as we like to call it and uh, as we like to do. Darwin, I asked you pregame about LeBron's defensive energy. Um, you guys put him on Zion. I guess, you know, after 21 years in this league, it'd be, you probably shouldn't expect that every night, but when you get that version of him, what does that do for you guys? It just sets a tone. You know, usually it's AD setting that tone, um, a couple other guys, but with Bron, you know, just, just him setting that tone, uh, taking on, that's a huge challenge. You know, that kid is a hell of a basketball player. The physicality which he plays with, his athleticism, his ability to finish, with either hand around the basket and uh, play, constantly play downhill. It's a huge challenge that he took on. And, uh, you know, again, it sends a message to the rest of our team that a guy of uh, bronze stature and his, his tenure, you know, steps up to the plate to, to defend a young, you know, superstar like that. Um, again, it, 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 no one else can make excuses. And so um, completely uh, set the base for our defense and, you know, guys responding, our, getting our deflections and, you know, forcing those guys into 19 turnovers. Um, it was great. Our activity was at a high, high level. Darvin, uh, on the other end of the floor, LeBron had 17 assists, including eight in the first eight minutes, uh, really setting a tone that way and finding Rui along the baseline for, for cuts and dunks and 80 for lobs. Uh, how much did that just set the tone offensively, getting everyone else going and then starting to get going in the second half? I mean, just he's setting the table. He can always eat whenever he decides to. So, but he's just setting the table for everyone else. Um, everyone, you know, we shared the wealth. 32 assists. Uh, I think we had some similar to that the last time we played these guys. Uh, but we know this is a great defensive ball club, um, and they're going to force you to make a simple play and make multiple plays. And so. You can't stall out after the first option is not available. You got to go to the second option, and even a third option at times. But you know that's that's New Orleans. They again, they're good in transition. They're good in the half court with their deflections and their ability to get steals. The way they they activate the backside of their defense by shifting and taking away your rollers and forcing you to find the right pass. And so um, it was great. We kept it simple. We kept the ball moving. Played with a lot of pace. A lot of pace made quick decisions, and, and uh, I think that fed right into what, you know, you saw from Brian. Tom, the way this is shaped out, it's, you can look at it like you guys are the lower seed going on the road to play two straight playoff games against the, the home team in, in to begin a playoff game, a play, being a playoff series. Uh, how do you make adjustments from today to Tuesday, um, knowing that Obviously, that they're going to dive into the game tape as well. I mean, you just lean into what you did well. The general themes of what you did well, right? You know, you, you just try to lean into that. Uh, excuse me. You know, keeping them off the glass for one, not giving them extra opportunities. Our defensive activity, um, just just us shifting and supporting one another. Someone's driving. They saw multiple bodies behind that initial defender, uh, contesting without fouling. Um, 
for them to only have 14 free throws for the game, that's, you know, that's, that's pretty good damn defense in terms of not committing a bunch of silly fouls, which in turn put them on the three point, uh, free throw line. They get to see shots go in and gives them confidence from the, from the free throw line to the three point line. Uh, but just lean into what we did well, um, understanding that they may make some adjustments in terms of their matchups. Uh, and just have a plan, a backup plan, and, and an escape plan. Um, once we see what you know, what their response is to what we've done tonight, and so the chess game has been ignited, and um, you know we're all for it. We're gonna go back here today, coach, as a coach of staff, and watch the film ourselves, and try to pull from you know the positives we did, and, and, and continue to preach those, and see where you know. We, we, we may have gotten a little inconsistent in some defensive uh, possessions and try to clean all of that up. Thank you.